Hi, this is Yvonne Galush here, your Business Computing Essentials Instructor. And I am here to talk about completing a SimNet project. So on the, the time when I assign a chapter in the schedule, you will see a Guide Me, which we have a separate video on, on completing an ebook chapter assignment, as well as a project. So for each chapter, you will need to complete both of these if you want to keep up and complete all the work for the course. We are now going to focus on completing a SimNet project in this class, on this video. So here I am logged in SimNet, and as I said before, this is the default view when you first log in. You will always see anything that is a been, has been assigned in calendar view. However, under tile or list view, you will only see those things which you have not yet completed or that is the time that is currently present for you to be able to complete it. So we're going to click project and the first thing you want to do is download the start file. Listen carefully. It is very, very important that you download your own start file. Do not copy somebody else's file and start this project or turn in somebody else's work or it will be an integrity violation and I will be notified. Basically, you have two integrity violations and it's an F for the course. That's in the syllabus. So please, please be very careful. Download the, your own start file and upload your own file after you've completed your work. So we download it. You're going to need to save the file somewhere where you know where it is. If it's easier to open it, fine, do that. I can just do here in my browser and get this to open and because it by default went to my downloads folder it's loading notice I have my old computer at home so I just have word 2010 and of course you have to use office 2013 to complete these I should have said that when I first started absolutely be sure that you use office 2013 to complete these projects. I'm not actually going to do the work, but I am going to get started here. So keep in mind that I'm in Office 2010. It may it's going to look a little different the interface. But the very first th thing after you get the download file so you can work on it is you need to then get the instructions available. I'm just going to go ahead and you can save them if you want or just open them. You can always reopen the instructions, so that's not a big deal. If, if you do happen to start this again, be sure you continue with the correct uh, download file. So here are the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. The very first thing it says to do is to uh, save it with your initials W-Challenge-1. So I'm going to come back here to Word and I'm saving it where I know where it is. In this case, I'll uh, stick it in my documents and I need to be sure it has that correct file name, which was my initials YGWD-challenge-13. I saved it. So I'm not going to do all these steps. Change the zoom level to the view the document at 120% magnification. So you can kind of do this yourself. You, you should have learned how to do all these things while you're going through the guide me steps in the chapter. I could have just typed 120 there, but I decided to click through it. You get the idea how you need to do this. Enter and delete text in the document on the fourth line on the first page. Select Courtyard Medical Plaza and delete this entire line. I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'm going to stop. So fourth line on the first page, Courtyard Medical Plaza. Fourth line on the first page, Courtyard Medical Plaza, delete that entire line. Okay, it's gone. I'm going to save it. Let's say that I've actually completed all the instructions for this project, which of course I haven't, but we'll say I have for the sake of this demonstration. So I'm ready for it to be graded. I click Upload. I'm in My Documents. And I'm in a different folder. I'm going to 
scroll down here, or I could just start typing YG, there it is. Select that, say open, and it's uploading the file. Once you see it here, then you can say grade my project. With these projects, you can upload them and grade them three times. So I got 11% so far. I didn't do very much, so that's no surprise. This interface, I think, is very good at helping you see exactly where you're missing points. So you see it's telling me on these steps, and it highlights. You see how it's highlighting it? Or over here, and you mouse over it, it tells you what you need to do. And it also highlights then over here. So I like this interface because you can clearly see what you need to fix to correct things to get 100%. And you have three attempts to do this. Now, if you look at grade book, you will see right now I have 11%. If you have four days to complete a particular chapter, both the Guide Me ebook as well as the project when it's assigned. So if you end up only getting this submitted once, you end up with whatever grade you had as your final grade. If, for example, you get it submitted three times but you make a mistake and on the third time you get a lower grade than the second time, I've got the grade book set up to keep the highest score you get on the three attempts on the project grade. So in closing on this little video segment, I want to emphasize that you have to use Office 2013. Um, you can either go to a lab, if you uh, come here and click on Campus Labs, I've basically shown you the labs around campus that are all supposed to have Office 2013. It's a little slow loading, so I'm not going to continue waiting. but. Otherwise, you can get Office 2013 working on your own computer, but just be sure on the projects you have to use Office 2013. You can do the SimNet exercises as far as the unit exam or pass out exam, as well as the Guide Me. You can do that on any computer because the processing is taking place on the SimNet web application server it doesn't have to have Office 2013 on that machine because it's all being processed remotely. But on the projects, which you are working locally, you have to be working in Office 2013. So thank you very much, and I hope this has helped you in completing a SimNet project.